Hello and welcome to the Smart Academy at the Smart Family of Cooling Products. Today, we're gonna to do a brief video on the fluid circuit on our SMT series, Industrial Rentalized Air Handling Units. So number one, let's look at each connection. Let's talk about what each connection does. And then after that, we'll talk about filling up the fluid circuit on this chilled water air handling unit. And we'll briefly talk about winterization, okay? So the first thing to note is on this particular air handling unit, which is a 120 ton unit, we have two four inch main connections here. One is the inlet, the other is the outlet. They're clearly marked on the connection itself and then a rip, riveted tag right by the connection. So these are four inch, both the inlet and the outlet. You'll notice that they're QC or cam and groove quick connect fittings. Typically the female connection is gonna be on your inlet, which will be on the bottom. So bottom connection is inlet, top connection is normally a male QC fitting and that's your outlet connection. You'll see we have butterfly valves to both the inlet and the outlet and these are for isolating and adjusting flow. So you'll see I'm currently perpendicular to flow which means that this is closed. If I slowly open this we can adjust flow to the fluid circuit. The other two connections that are present here is the coil or fluid circuit vent and the coil or fluid circuit drain. Both are marked and have a riveted tag uh, noting their locations. What we've done in the SMT series is we've gone to the highest point in the fluid circuit on this air handler. We put a compression fitting and run stainless steel tubing out to an isolation valve. That way we can vent typically air out of this fluid circuit at the highest point. Similarly, on the drain connection, we've actually gone to the lowest point on the fluid circuit, which is right off the header on the chilled water cooling coil. We put a comp compression fitting and stainless steel tubing to an isolation valve. That way we can drain the fluid from the fluid or water circuit just by opening and closing this valve. You'll notice that if I tried to drain from the inlet connection, this actually isn't the lowest point in the fluid circuit. There's actually some fluid between the bottom of this connection and the bottom of that header. So if we're trying to get all the fluid out of the circuit, we wanna be doing that through the drain to make sure we get everything out, okay? If I was starting an SMT air handler and I wanted to fill, fill the fluid circuit up with fluid, water, propylene, glycol, whatever the case may be, I'm typically gonna fill from that drain connection. You'll see on this particular unit, we have a GHT or garden hose type fitting on the bottom. So we can hook up and fill the fluid circuit from the bottom and slowly fill up the top. As we're filling up the fluid circuit, we're typically gonna vent out all the air from the top as we fill up the circuit. Typically these air handlers are gonna be paired with rentable or portable chillers, and you're gonna be burping or turning the pump on and off the chilled water pump as you vent all the air out so that you can make sure and get all that air out of that portable fluid circuit so that you don't cavitate or run your pump with air pockets in it, okay? So that's it, those are the fluid connections. You'll notice that there's a winterizing tag or a danger tag about potential freeze to these coils. If we get conditions that are at or below freezing, we certainly can freeze the chilled water cooling coil or the fluid piping in these packages. So it's very important that if these units are gonna be exposed to conditions at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or below, you wanna properly winterize them. There's typically two means of winterizing, and we talk about that in a Smart Family Service Bulletin and a separate video. So that's it on the fluid connections for this very brief video. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more.